Hello everyone, hello. We are back with more FF8. This will probably be the last 30 minutes of today's stream. Are we ready to go? We're taking off. I'll direct you to our destination. Announce the departure. Roger! May I have your attention please? This is the bridge. The garden will be leaving FH shortly. Please prepare for departure. I will now hand the mic over to our leader, Steve. Why? A speech? Forget it. Cut the mic. Alright, we need a party of three, but Selfie can't go. Alright, let's bring... Uh, four... Sixteens... Zell? And <laughs> Irvin, alright. That makes my life easier. Oops. The cockpit, forward. Alright, we're gonna... Go back in here just for a moment. I wish it didn't take my... Uh, I think that's all that's on him. Hang on. Put those on him for now. Junction, GF, Steve Connell, Steve Uncle, Steve Leviathan, or Leviathan Steve. Magic. Card GF. He still doesn't have any of those yet, but that's fine. Uh, we did gain some GF abilities we should look at. Honestly, I just, just let that go because he's close to it anyway, so. Look at that, and then we'll learn this. Um, I don't know if that's what I wanted, but I guess we'll let him finish and then we'll get this. Mental attack dungeon we're still working on. Counter none we're still working on. Status junction we're still working on. Okay. Magic junction is what we're working on, so that's good. Okay. That's good. What does the sources really want? It doesn't seem something as simple as world domination. Alright, so I'm thinking our first destination, that's fine should be the Shumi tribe to the north as it's a pretty easy place to get to. I'm pretty sure there's a Timber Maniacs there. I might be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure. So I've got almost everything I need to make Squall his new weapon, but we need uh, energy crystals to get it done. Where exactly was that up here? One of these islands. Beach up here? Is this it? Oh, this isn't it. Ah, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. In order to get online, you gotta have a beach that'll let you raise up and go on there. So it's somewhere up here. There it is. That's what I was looking for. I knew it was right here somewhere. Oh, and actually... Before I go in there, I do want to check one thing. Uh, eight... I'm curious as to how we get dragon skin. Okay, 30 plus. The dragon. I guess we could buy Grendel's. Grendel's drop it, rarely. Okay. I just needed an idea of where I could go to find this later on. 
All right, let's go to explore the Shumi tribe. And also... There we go. Talk to the person on my left. What? Welcome to Shumi Village. If you wish to go to the village, take the other front elevator to the bottom level. There are precious spells at this draw point. You must pay if you want to wish to draw it. Talk to the person on my right. We gotta pay him to draw from that. Fuck that noise. Is that what I have to pay for there? The ultimate draw point? Welcome to Shumi Village. You have been specially permitted here. We hope you enjoy your stay. The elevator will reach the village entrance shortly. Please exit through the door. Oh. I don't always come to this place when I play this game. I've been here a few times, but... Hello and welcome. Specialist is surprised they let you in. Usually only merchants are permitted to come into our village. This is our negotiation table. This is where we exchange minerals with outside traders. You mine for minerals? Of course. You think we built a village 323 meters underground just for fun? Actually, there was a little fun in it. This music. There's a way to get infinite money. Uh, so you pay for all your characters to get 100 Ultima. There's a pain in the ass you don't recommend. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so that actually reminds me. Alright. Hang on. So that actually reminds me. I was, um... I was uh, yeah, uh, playing Dragon Quest 7, I was uploading my videos to YouTube, which I do with all my games, but... Hello there. Can you see me? Hold on a sec. Overcome difficulties with effort and ingenuity. That's the show me way. So, will you be spending the night? Yeah, sure, alright. Anyway, so... The, um... I, I was playing, and... So oh, interesting. Uh, and I had this guy commenting on all my videos about how I needed to go to Slime Forest and max out all of my jobs before I complete the, uh, go through the game, uh, so I can overpower anything. Now, keep in mind, I have not had any trouble in the game up to this point. It was relatively overpowering anything anyway, everything anyway, because I'd like to think I'm at least pretty decent when it comes to Dragon Quest. But every video, this guy would talk about how he mastered all his jobs before he even left the first fucking forest you can go to after you get them and how this how do i get to this uh i should do that too and he's like it only took 80 hours and i'm like dude i'm playing this on stream i don't want to fucking do that okay fine jabs <gasps> jabs Job. 80 hours is far too much time to spend doing that. Oh, busy, busy, busy. <gasps> Looks like Laguna. You know Master Laguna? Well, sort of. This is Laguna Loire. Long ago, a Moomba found this man lying near our village covered with blood and carried him to our village. It appeared that he had slipped and fallen off a cliff. We took care of him until his wounds were healed. If you wish to know more about Master Laguna, you should go talk to the Elder. Sculptor insists you go speak to him. Sculptor 
sure, we, it will please the elder. Okay. Excellent. For Fauna, you have a big heart. Sculptor will tell the Moomba guarding the entrance to let you pass. You raise Moombas in this village? Raise. Moomba is one of many final forms that we Shumis take. Final form? You don't know? Excluding the ones qualified to become elders, all Shumis evolve at a certain stage of our lives. We become what is in our hearts. Often, those who fail to become honorable elders turn into Moombas. The passionate ingenuity in their hearts gives rise to the red hair. It's common knowledge, Sculptor is surprised you didn't know. That sucks, turning into those beasts. B beasts <laughs> How dare you call them beasts? Yes, the ones who become elders are remarkable people. But what did you call them again? Beasts? Did you not see their noble features, their gem-like eyes, revealing innocence, the bright red hair symbolizing passion, the spectacular hair signifying power, the soothing adorable cries, the mighty hands with incredible strength, their proud postures demanding respect? Everything about them is great. Okay, all right. Man, you and your big mouth. Anyway, please go see the Elder. I kind of like this atmosphere. It's relaxing, you know? Say, wouldn't it be nice to stay here sometime and make something? Sick. 5,000. Hey, Paraga! What do we got that I can just pass on to someone else? Well, that's already Junction, and I only have seven of them. Mm, let's pass that on to... Oh, yeah, no, I, I have no issues with somebody taking the time to spend 60 or 80 hours a day, uh, or 80 hours fucking playing, uh, their game to max out their shit. If they want to max their shit out, go for it. Just don't comment on all my videos telling me I should do the same. All the more power to you. Hey, Timber Maniacs. All must play triple triad or be put to death. You're an outsider? Most of us here don't have a good impression of the outside world. But Artisan knows there are some good things about it. Once Artisan stopped by a hopelessly foul wasteland and met with a wonderful group of people called Artisans. We have the same soul, the Artisans and the Shimmies. That alone, the fact that there are people like them in the outside world, makes your world worthy. Since then, the Artisans have had a major influence on my work. Take a look at this, for example. Alright. Take a look at this, for example. I don't know that. You said that you were an artisan, right? This is, that is a great honor. It just fucking makes model cars. I think. Yeah, I have a question. But I need an answer, because I'm fairly certain I know the answer. All right. So, yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Moombas actually only officially appear in Final Fantasy VIII. Um, they have, like, little references to them here and there. Uh, like, Lulu can use a weapon that uh, looks like a Moomba in ten. Uh, but that's about it. Um, World of Final Fantasy, I'm pretty sure you can get a Moomba as well. Uh, but that's a bit different. Yeah, give me that Blizzaga. Take that. Well, the, uh, yeah, so he said that's one of the final forms they can take. So we know they can take the form of whatever the Elder is going to be. And that they can take the form of, uh... 
Moombas. So what else can they do? We appreciate you coming forward. Since you have come here, you must know Master Laguna. Thank you for coming. Allow me to talk about Master Laguna for a moment. It was about 17 years ago when we found him injured. He was on his way to Esther to save a girl named Alone who had been abducted by Esther's soldiers. He stayed here for a short while until his injuries healed. During his stay, he tried to teach a Mumba how to speak. Why? He told me that he felt sorry for the Mumbas because they don't know any words. He said that words are useful and precious. I believe that Mumbas don't need to know words because the important things can be communicated without words. Perhaps we don't need words either. Even Master Laguna was not very good with words. His communication skills were horrible. But we still understood what he desperately wanted to say, how eager he was to save alone. His eyes, more than his words, told us this. That's all I have to say. Why are you building a statue of him? You find it strange, yes? I doubt you will understand. We believe that Master Laguna has a special something. That something is the power to attract people. We still don't know what it is, so we decided to build a statue of him. We felt that we may come to understand why Master Laguna is so special by doing this. Pulling clown? I better not say anything. Please, excuse my humble abode. Nope. I do like his fish tanks, though. Those are super cool. Pleased to meet you. They call me attendant. The fish tank around the uh, ring of the uh, the building there? That's, that's really awesome. Please wait. We would like to present you with a gift, since you came all this way. But in Shumi, one must work to earn anything. This is our way. I have an idea. Please assist my attendants in the workshop so that I can present you with a gift. Where is it? It is where you saw Master Laguna's statue. We want to finish that statue as soon as possible. Well, I want to give you a gift, but you gotta work for it. He doesn't say anything different. Oh, and he is offering you that. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is a great honor. It's rarely given, especially to outsiders. Okay, shall we get to work? As you can see, Sculptor has a very big responsibility of making this statue. To finish it, Sculptor will need to do additional research on several stones. Sculptor would like you to go get them, all right? Sculptor needs five kinds of stones. Shadow stone, wind stone, life stone, water stone, and blue stone. We don't know anything about stones. You'll be able to tell by their names. Don't worry, when in doubt, examine them carefully. Also, there's a specialist in the village who can help you. Okay, let's start with the blue stone. <laughs> okay. I don't have the blue stone. Hey, Cheshire! How are you doing? Is the specialist in here? Wait, is that uh Okay. Not great! Ah, oh, Cheshire, I'm sorry to hear that. But if it makes you feel better, tonight is Tales from the Borderland night. Is that a game or a movie? That's a game. Looking for blue stones. Hmm, specialist thinks we had some in stock the other day. I don't know why my Discord command's not been working. Give me a sec. 
There, there's supposed to be a Discord command. I don't know why it hasn't been working, though. Give me a sec. Who's the blonde in the game? Uh, in this game? Zell? You got it? Alright. Excellent. Alright, let me give you some rolls here real quick. There you go. You should be able to see everything. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Hello there. Can you see me? Hold on a sec. Alright, this. Is the shop again? I don't think there's any reason to do this. Unless you guys want me to. Is that Zell was the brunette? No, Zell's the blonde guy right there. Squall or Steve is the main character. And then Irvin is the guy with the cowboy hat. You get a better look at them here. Just set the scroll up? Okay. I'll look at the Discord function tonight. I don't know why it's not doing it, but I'll just delete the whole command and try to re-add it. Wait, is that specialist? That's oh, 5,000? Alright, we'll, we'll draw once. That's Ultima, as you said. No change in the remastered version. I didn't get 13 of them, so it's not terrible. The hell do I have Ultima even Junction to? Oh, status resistance, apparently. Or elemental resistance, sorry. Alright. <laughs> you get 20% to everything, and I think I only have 20 of them. Yeah, I only have 20 of them, so like each one gives you 1%. That's pretty cool. He just is like Sora or Cloud or Titus. Mm, I don't know about Cloud, but he uh, definitely has a Sora like outfit on. There's a setup you can do with Elemental Wizards where every single element heals you. I believe that. Alright, save our game here. Got seven minutes left. What do I want to do? I don't know what I want to do. Uh, take a moment here and look up the blue stone. Um, is this something that we can do quickly or. Yes, apparently it's something we can do in the village. So let's go back in there and take a look around. Should be able to do this pretty quick. Sorry, I have a bug that needs to be killed. A tiny little gnat flying around.
Honestly, when I last played this, I, I actually had a lot of luck with Bio up until the final boss. Uh, Bio on attack was pretty solid. Meltdown's also pretty good on one of the stats as well. Although Meltdown's just good to use in general. Nothing like reducing an enemy's defense down to, I think it's one? One or zero. Vector with the boss! Alright, so... The blue stones we're looking for are actually in the village. I don't think these are them. I think they are apparently in this building. But I think for the I don't think we get anything worthwhile from doing this, but I do get this draw point again, though. Fuck. Alright, well, Zell, you get some Fyraga. Huh? The stone is blue. Hey, don't tell me this is the blue stone. What? Oh, oh! Sculptor completely forgot. Sculptor already had it. Well, that's one down and four more to go. Okay. Next, please, go find some wind stones. Hate that's forcing me to walk right now. All right, let's -a go. Next stone is over by the entrance, I believe. Go collect the dragon balls. There's only five of them, so we we, we don't get to collect the dragon balls just yet. This looks like one of them. There's a breeze coming from it. This is the wind stuff. I wish for more wishes. I wish for all the wishes. Could be a lot of running back and forth. But yeah, guys, uh, tonight at 9 p.m. we're going to be playing Tales from the Borderlands. It is a pretty excellent, funny game so far. I've been enjoying it. Uh, we're going on to episode three. Is this it? Yeah, that's the wind stone. Okay, three more to go. Next, Sculptor needs some life stones. I wish for fewer wishes. I wonder if anybody's ever tried wishing for Shenron's freedom. And he's just like, I'm not a genie. There are stones under the roots. This must be the life stone. Must be the life stone. Is Shenron even a good guy? I mean, I think Shenron's neutral. This is it. Yes, that's the life stone. Only two more to go. Next sculptor needs some shadow stones. All right. Well, I don't see. I didn't see any shadows in the village that I can recall off the top of my head. But there are shadows up up top. Also, where's this light coming from for this village? Actually, I think about it. All right, we have to ride this silly elevator again.
Please exit through the door. All right. So there should be a shadow out here, if I'm right. Yeah. More stones. Looks like the shadow stone. I don't know what this gets me, guys. Probably nothing worthwhile, but I'm curious now. Technically, we should be done stream now, but I'll, I'll go on until we get the last stone. They're all in the village-ish. I don't think I've ever done this. I think I originally heard, hey, go find us these five stones, and I was like, nope, I, I'm out, see ya. <laughs> go fuck yourself. Oh, what? Why'd you go back in? Okay, well. Honestly, I'm just expecting a hard to go fuck yourself, but. Nah, it's fine. We're gonna finish it, so. But yeah, I, I, I just expect a hard to go fuck yourself. I'm a little annoyed that my character just walked back in without me touching the controller. Now we're going to sit through the stupid elevator again. I like how the elevator doesn't really start until like almost everyone's sitting. Irvin takes his time though, but... Please exit through the door. Okay. Let's deliver the Shadow Stone. Thankfully, the last stone isn't too far from it. It should just be the Water Stone, right? And there's water right outside. Is this it? Yes, that's the shadow stone. Wonderful. Lastly, sculptor needs some water stones. I thought so. We have this draw point again. At least we're getting lots of Fyraga. Three Fyragas. I completely skipped over the mid-tier magic and just went right up to Fyraga. Here's another stone. I think he's gonna punch me in the face for, for completing their quest. It's a sign of respect in their culture. Is this it? No, this is a, sto a stone they put by the pond. Lastly, Sculptor needs some water stones. Fuck you, dude. Alright, so... Maybe it's in one of these houses. Huh? Could this be it? You mind if I take this stone? Go ahead! Arson only uses it for washing! Ugh. I assume he means washing dishes since it's in the kitchen, but maybe they wash themselves in the kitchen too. Sassari reacts to Shimi Village Quest. And there's way too many react videos on YouTube nowadays. Is this it? Yes, this is the water stone. Congratulations, your job is complete. You may go to see the elder now. Excellent. Let's go get our reward, guys. I also react to shitting. Usually it's uh, me sitting on the toilet making shit faces. Like, 
And, you know, kind of push it out. The Elder will now present you with a gift. For your services, it gives me great pleasure to present you this. Um, Elder? Attendant is having a hard time seeing it. Oh. What is it? Am I missing something here? What the? I don't see anything. Uh, isn't it amazing? When he holds something in his palm, you cannot even see it. Such is the power of the person who has attained eldership. So what's the gift? What, what else? The honor of seeing his hand. These great hands have shoveled the earth. These great hands have created wonders. These great hands have just justified the eldership. We are proud to send you off with this gift. Do stop by again. Good day. Hey. Hold on. We forgot to give you a souvenir. It's embarrassing to present you this silly thing after what we've already given you, but... Here you are. Oh, Phoenix Penny. Cool. I like that. Hey, it looks like you got something. Hey, what was that the Elder's Hand thing all about? Alright, let's see what his explanation is. I think it was true. He kept his hands concealed since we met him. Judging from this place, they're pretty advanced, so they can't be stupid. They probably knew that the silly hand thing wasn't going to impress us. They sincerely admire Laguna, so they wanted to treat us kindly since we know him. Their kind gesture just came out weird, that's all. But at least they tried. I think overall, it was a decent, heartfelt welcome. No, you don't. All that just to welcome us. Man, oh well, I guess it was alright. Yeah, well, you got a little breather. That's good. Funny, the Elder humbly concealed his hands. Norg, on the other hand, showed them off. What a sham. They probably know. Of course. There was a fierce shrewdness about their eyes. And an unimaginable destiny awaits them. No doubt they know that they know. Then why did you bother with the charade? You should have just said here. There's nothing. Did not want to give them material things. I wanted to give them a moment of peace and our heartfelt welcome. Hmm. Sounds like a poor excuse. I have an assignment for you. Yes? Go fuck yourself. Assist the sculptor in the shop. You will not rest or sleep until the statue is complete. What? what? Wait a minute. You misunderstood me, Elder. Please. Mercy! No! Alright, so... What was that? It wasn't me that got the hearty go fuck yourself. I got a Phoenix Pinion out of it, which I'm probably just gonna use uh, as soon as possible, because um, if I'm right, I think it's the Phoenix Pinion. When you use it, uh, it summons Phoenix, and then... Whenever you have a party wipe or a character wipe, I don't know. I, I think it's a party wipe. You have a 20% chance of Phoenix showing up and just rising your characters, which not terrible to have. Anyway, the, uh, yeah, so that guy got a hearty go fuck yourself as a reward. Anywho, guys, 